This book is called Maybe Dying is Like Becoming a Butterfly, and it's written by Pim Van Hist, Hest and illustrated by Lisa Brandenburg. Can you point to the title on this page? You see it? Did you say it's right here? You are right. That is the title of this book. And this book, by the way, this author, um, Pim Van Hest, is a child psychologist. And he's known for writing about difficult but important themes like self-confidence, death, refugees. So if you're looking for an author who writes about difficult concepts in a children's book format, this is a good author to look at. Christopher looks at Grandpa. Can I take this caterpillar home? Why? asks Grandpa. So I can put him in a jar. Hmm, I don't know, says Grandpa. He might die if you put him in a jar. Oh, that thought shocks Christopher. And Grandpa nods. Try to show this one because it's, there we go. Are you going to die, Grandpa? Someday, sweetheart. But I hope not too soon. I also, I also hope not, Grandpa. Who knows when you will die? No one. No one knows. Not even Granny? asked Christopher. Not even Granny. Let me just show you the pictures and then I'll read it to you because it's really hard to show and And read it. Will I ever die, Grandpa? What do you think? It's quiet for a while. Christopher thinks about it. I guess I will, Grandpa, but I'd rather not. No, says Grandpa. That's understandable. See all the things he's doing there? I would like to know when I'm going to die, Grandpa. Why, sweetheart? Well, before I die, I can do a lot of nice things, such as go to the beach with the whole family, or fly in an airplane with you, or get a puppy. But you don't have to wait until right before you die. You can do all those things right now. Oh, yes, I guess so. Will you die before me, Grandpa? There's a good chance, a very good chance. But could I also die before you, Grandpa? There's a small chance, a very small chance. But it's possible, right? Yes, it is possible. I want to grow up to be just as old as you, Grandpa, and then die. And I would love to be alive to see you grow old, Christopher, just as old as I am now. Is that possible, Grandpa? No, sweetheart. Unfortunately, it's not. I will die before you get that old. What happens after death, Grandpa? That's a good question, my boy. Hmm. I don't know the answer, really. I've never died before. But Grandpa, where do you think you go after death? Grandpa. I think I'll go to a place where it rains chocolate. Christopher laughs out loud. And what do you think? Christopher is quiet. I need a little, a little time to think about that, Grandpa. I understand, sweetheart. Perhaps the special thing about death might be that no one really knows. That we can each have our own thoughts about it. We are fishing. What have other people thought of, Grandpa? All sorts of things, sweetheart. Some think there's a heaven, a place without sadness or war, where everything is always fine. Others think they will be born again after death. And each time you get wiser when you're back on earth. 
But there are also people who think that there's nothing after death, that it feels exactly the same as before you were born. Oh, says Christopher, I think that I'm going to search for you, Grandpa, when I'm dead. Why do you think we die? Grandpa asks Christopher. Because our body is worn out? Christopher guesses. That's right, my boy. And I think, Grandpa continues, that we die because dying is part of life. Everything that lives eventually dies. Here's an easier question, says Christopher. Why do you think we're born? Hmm, what do you think? Well, I think that we're born to learn all sorts of things on earth. And some people learn faster than others, right? Tears fill Grandpa's eyes. He nods. You just taught me something very beautiful, sweetheart. I'm getting better at showing you the pictures. <laughs> Are you afraid of dying, Grandpa? Honestly, sometimes I am, and sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I think about it a lot, and other times I don't think about it at all. One moment, dying seems scary, and it makes me feel sad. And another moment, it feels peaceful. It comforts me to know that I will die one day. Does that sound odd to you? No, Grandpa, I think I get that. Although, I would miss a lot of things when I'm dead. said Grandpa, like Granny's delicious homemade vegetable soup, or twirling snowflakes, or laughing at your dad's jokes, or sitting on a bench with you in the park, and so many other things too. And, but maybe you don't have to miss all those things, Grandpa. Why is that? Maybe all those things are still there after death. Yes, says Grandpa, you might be right. Maybe all those things are still there after death. And then there's a little a letter written over here. Dear Grandpa, I've been thinking again, maybe dying is like changing into a butterfly. Do you know why? Because when the butterfly is there, the caterpillar is gone. It seems like the caterpillar is dead, but it isn't. It has become a butterfly. So maybe dying is like becoming a butterfly. Maybe you turn into something else, something you can't think of yet, into something beautiful. See you later, Grandpa. The end. And if any parents are listening, at the end, there are some really good hints about how to deal with discussing death with children and some good advice by Rebecca Dabukusen, that you might be interested in checking this book out at the library.